guys what's up it's me Hammy and welcome back to another video so today um I made a list um on my discord server and that's why probably some of you didn't see it because um a lot all my subscribers are in my discord server but I put a chat that said hey I'm doing I'm giving you all options of what I might be doing um and nobody really, only one person really replied, um, so I was like letting you all pick what you wanted me to make videos about. And so none of, not a lot of people really replied, so I'm just kind of got going to kind of go through all the options just to show you guys everything. Um, and so the first one I chose for today, since it was a very short video that I can easily make, is how to bandage a snail. Now let's talk a bit about this. So, um... Can bandaging up your snail harm your snail? Um, sometimes, uh, yes. I'm sorry, the lawn guy is outside and it's very noisy. <laughs> um, but, can it harm your snail? Sometimes, maybe. Not, it's very, very likely that they will, it will not harm your snail. So you have a pretty good chance that your snail is going to be okay. Um, the only wet reason I would think it would harm your snail is your snail may be eating it. Um, other than that, I think it would be okay, but, and what, let's talk about what, how your snail can benefit from this. A lot of people say, well, I don't recommend doing the bandage because it really doesn't help that much. It's kind of just kind of sitting there, not really doing anything, um, but other people have different, um, like, views on this, but my view is that, so... The shell is the part of the snail. The, the shell is not like something like a hermit crab that they um, slowly have to grow into um, bigger ones as they grow. Um, and that is a part of, their, of them, but this is a part of a snail's body. So this, they cannot live without a shell. Um, so if, a shell, if the snail did not have its shell, it would die, pretty much most likely die. Um, but, a snail, um, there can be rare cases where snails can live, but I'm not certain of it. But, so, if a, that is a snail's protection. If you didn't already know, that is where all their, or a lot of their organs are, and near the, um, I won't use any fancy words, but near the opening, right, the mantle is holding the lungs, and the mantle is kind of like a... Um, it's, it's hard to explain, but the mantle is kind of like a sack and it contains like the lungs and sort of um, things like that. And so the lungs is very, it's um, right there and a lot of, it's right near the opening. Uh, like I said, I won't use fancy words, but it's right near the opening and it, um, when a snail falls and they usually get a lot of breaks right at the opening, that can be very vital to them. And, um, that can possibly kill them, but anyway, the point is, a lot of their organs and stuff are in their shell, so they need that shell to keep bad bacteria out, um, dirt out, uh, keep them from not drying up, and um, so yeah, so if your snail happens to fall and break its shell, there's chances of getting lots of dirt, sticks, um, leaves in there, uh, uh, other parasites like mites, um, getting mites in there, drying up, um, bad bacteria, all things like that. So in my opinion, I think a bandage can help because it, the bandage that I came up with, um, I, maybe someone out there um, has done this before, I don't know, but I kind of came up with this on an emergency situation with one of my snails and um, it, um, I think it's kind of a a uh, good source of, it's like a way it helps them grow their shell back, but also is acting, the bandage I'm going to be showing you is acting as a patch, so it's acting as the shell to be like a, um, a fake shell, part of the shell I guess, and then helps them, you know, keep their system going as much as possible keeps them safe until they get that piece of their show back. So I'm gonna be actually demonstrating with you. I've got everything I need right here. I'm gonna be demonstrating if you're in an emergency situation and even if you don't need this type of, like you don't need a snail bandage right now, if you don't have a snail that's injured, uh, has a shell injury. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, this is for their shell, not their body. Um, 
there's that. Um, then uh, this may be good for emergency situations just so you can be prepared to be like, oh, that snail bandage. I got the supplies in my room. I can do it. I got it. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, how you can do this with your snail. You can practice on your snail, um, but here we go. Okay guys, so I had to get my supplies and I don't have eggshells, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be using one of my snails that is not hurt, um, but I'm just using it as an example um, to kind of show you all what to do. But the things you're going to need are, is, the things you're going to need, I got like a napkin here and um, I have my snail on a napkin. I don't recommend doing that. Your snail could eat the napkin, but um, as long as you know that your snail you're eating it, um, isn't going to do anything crazy, you can set them on a napkin, but get something nice and clean like a piece of plastic wrap, uh, a lid to like the food or I don't know, something like that. Get like a little piece of plastic that's clean and washed off and wash your hands with water before doing this. And the next thing you're going to need is a spray bottle. And empty, take a tea bag and tear it up and empty it out. You can also wash it out if it's toxic to snails, but I recommend using a green tea bag just to be sure that you're not giving them anything toxic. And green tea is actually very good for your snail. And then you're going to need eggshells. Um, please wash the eggshells and bake them if possible or just wash them. Either one is okay. But... What you're going to want to do is, um, <laughs> kind of confusing to show you, but, so, let's say my snail had a, this is, um, Snoopy, by the way. Snoopy said hi. I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> um, but if you don't have very steady hands, maybe get someone else to help you with this, but this is, I'm trying not to shake, um, this is Snoopy, and let's say Snoopy has a break in the shell right in this area so what i'm going to do is first you're going to get a piece of tea bag and set your snail down don't do anything that's going to put your snail in danger you know i totally didn't put mine on a napkin and then spray this with water and it's basically like paper but not <laughs> and see how you won't be able to see it but it's wet and it sticks to everything and um Get cover, um, okay. <laughs> so you find the broke the area where it is broke and cover the hole and just put it pat it down all along the shell. And this is not staying because it's in a very awkward area, so I'm going to put it over here. I probably need a smaller piece. Oh my gosh. This is very tedious, um, let me tell you that. Um, it's already drying up, so I'm gonna... So yeah, um, you can wet it down more, and I've kind of just put mine on the top of the shell there. Just put it where the brake is, make sure it's covering over the brake, all the way around it, you know? And then you're gonna get your eggshells. I sadly don't have eggshells, sorry. <laughs> um, but you're gonna get your eggshell and put, um, if you can see where I have the tea bag, you're gonna, where the tea bag is, take a big piece of eggshell and put it right there. Make sure it's not like, um, because tea bags are, you know, kind of round. Please don't eat the, okay, he's not eating. <laughs> um, because they're kind of round shape, make sure it's nice and flat, um, piece of eggshell to kind of put um, in that area. I wish I had a picture to show y'all, but let's say the break is right there. I'm gonna put a nice piece of eggshell right there, and then once you're done, hopefully that made sense to y'all. If it didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> but some people don't like this theory of using patches. If you don't want to use it, that is okay. Um, you don't have to use this. I'm just, this is an example of something you could do, and it won't harm your snail at all. Um, like I said in the beginning, it won't hurt. I kept saying that there's a chance that it will hurt your snail, but 
very, 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 very low chance. And I have had snails eat this and they're fine. But you don't want to give it as their main diet. So, yeah. But I'm trying to get another piece of tea bag off of here. You're going to get another piece of tea bag and just pretend that your eggshell's on there. And just, we're going to get this tea bag piece wet. A piece of hair. Um, next thing you're going to do is get that and just place it over top. I like to get an even bigger piece to make sure the eggshell stays in place. And this isn't a very good example because it's kind of everywhere. It's not supposed to look like this, y'all. It will look more whitish when you do it, but it kind of looks like that, except for I got too big of a piece, so, and I didn't stick mine down very well, but you know, it the tea bag is supposed to help it heal and keep the eggshell in place, and the eggshell kind of acts as a shell. And there, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. And you can, I, um, change it out about every other day, um, and that should be good, unless your snail eats it or it falls off. It can fall off, that's the thing. Um, it's not glued on, don't glue it on, um, but it can fall off, so there's that. But guys, um, I'm gonna get him off this paper towel that he's now stuck to. Oh, you go. we're good, guys, and I'm going to take this off her because... She doesn't need it. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you and um, your, your, your care with your snails. And um, maybe if you have an emergency, this helps you out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day. Bye.